Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ruscio. I'm here with Debbie, who has done really well, and she had some interesting stuff that you don't really see every day, so I thought we could share some of that. Um, Debbie, could you maybe give people a, a, you know, a little bit of understanding in terms of what you initially came in with, maybe a little bit about what you had done before and how you were kind of struggling, and then what you were struggling with, and then we can kind of go from there. Well, I've struggled with a lot of different problems. My main problem most of my life has been um, weight gain. And just and that was kind of the goal of my life was to lose weight. But the more I chased after that, the more I had problems such as fibromyalgia, um, uh, digestive issues, constipation, uh, and that just progressed to um, having brain fog, nervousness, um, just just an inability to cope. Right. And that's and that's kind of the end of when I found you. So there was the weight, there was the inability to cope, um, there was also some digestive symptoms. Yes, yes. I had basically um, just cut, there were certain things I just could not eat and if I tried to eat fats, if I tried to eat um, certain kind of vegetables, um, my I would either gain weight or I would have um, constipation and stomach upset and gas like a big dog. <laughs> Um, and, and some bloating and constipation. Yes, bloating and constipation. Mm -hmm. And insomnia. And I thought, it was, I thought it was normal. That was my problem, is I didn't realize that that's an abnormal thing. Sure. That and, can be fixed. <laughs> and insomnia. Yes, and I wasn't sleeping, which I chalked up to menopause. I didn't realize that actually was a thing that could be fixed, too. And sleeping all night's awesome. <laughs> it is nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> I've suffered with insomnia myself, and it is, you know, it is not fun. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these things you know, going on, and, and you had been kind of dabbling with some alternative medicine, functional medicine work, and, and yes. not really able to get the traction and, and the results that you were looking for. I was trying to work on my digestion, trying to get my gallbladder to work, and, and also using some HCL. and. I, I'd hit a wall. There was there was nothing that I could do. It just wasn't working for me, and my trainer uh, referred me to you. So when we looked under the hood, so to speak, we uh -huh. found a very very mild case of SIBO, which I'm not even sure if it was a main factor or not. Uh -huh. But what was a little bit more interesting is that we did see a uh, pork tapeworm. Yes. And and this and this kind of freaked you out a little bit, and, and rightfully so. I should mention that the, the pork tapeworm can be a serious worm because it can get into the brain, and yes. it can cause neurological symptoms. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to treat it, um, the the cyst can actually swell and exacerbate any neurological problems. Um, especially, yes. it can be dangerous if someone is having seizures. You didn't have any of that history. Um, no, no. So there, were, there was no really frank neurological symptoms to be concerned about. We did have you check in with a doctor locally to make sure that we had another set of eyes and ears on this. Everything seemed to be okay, suggesting that um, the worm wasn't in a neurological area that would preclude us from, from wanting to start treatment. And so we worked our way through some treatment. We're, we're still kind of working through some treatment. We're not fully out of the woods yeah. yet. But you've responded really, really well to using some antiparasitics. Um, mm -hmm. You've reacted a little bit to some others in, in terms of maybe a, a die off reaction. But all that stuff aside, in the process of getting rid of this worm, which or, you know, we're preparing to retest for that now to verify, um, you've, your insomnia is gone. Yes. Uh, I'm just reading from what you just told me here. Uh, Anxiety is okay. better, rosacea is better energy is better, mental clarity is better, starting to lose some weight, constipation is clear. There's still a little bit of lingering gas and bloating, which we're taking some steps to remedy. But yeah. overall, you had said about 80% better. So anything there that you'd like to you know, share with people? Well, I again, it's, it's interesting. When you don't feel well, you, um, you really don't focus on some of these things, or you think that you're perpetually caught in them. And so when I started um, being calm in groups and I started, I stopped sweating when I would get in, you know, like stressful, when, when I wasn't stressed by the things that had been upsetting me, when I would go to bed at nine o'clock and wake up at six, um, 
I was, it was just amazing because I honestly thought this is going to be the way I am the rest of my life. And um, in exercising, I, I just had no energy at all to exercise. If I did exercise, I would have to have a nap afterwards. Um, and I volunteer once a week at a, at a little surgical center and I take people back for surgery. And I do that from 6 until 10. And I would come home and take a three-hour nap after that. And today, I was still going. <laughs> So um, it, it's just a real blessing to have these. And, and again, the whole focus of my world all my life has been weight loss. And now to have this stuff fixed, I'm like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and maybe I should elaborate a little bit because I know people are going to be asking what we did specifically. Um, mm -hmm. We did use a course of anti-parasitic, anti-worming agents or deworming agents. We did yeah. use some herbs that help support female hormones. Yes. And use some adrenal support, which I think all helped with some of the sleep. The, the sleep can be caused by hormonal uh, imbalances, and it can be caused by the gut. So we addressed these things together, and mm -hmm. this really seemed to kind of tip everything in your favor, where now you're you're improving, and I anticipate with every passing month, you're going to continue to get better yeah. and better until we get that 80% improvement that you're at right now, maybe a little bit closer to 90 100, I think, is sometimes hard because, you know, I don't know if we can ever feel 100% because as soon as you feel 100% better, then you you forget that you feel 100% better and you, you know, so uh, that can be a little bit of a, of a mind and trick. Well, and I'm an old lady, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, and, and, and just being able, it previous to finding you, if I, in a week, I could do maybe two things and that was it. And the rest of the time, I had to recover from them, both emotionally and physically. And being able to, you know, like go out to lunch with my friends and go shopping and do more than two things in a week is amazing. And I know, I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but sure. fatigue just closes you in. Sure. And your life gets very small, your world. Mm -hmm. And it's just been wonderful. And again, it was kind of gradual. All of a sudden, I'm like, hey, I have energy. <laughs> to go shopping at Target, woo! You know, it, it's and, great. Uh, you said something a moment ago that this is maybe a, a, a quick, interesting thing to reiterate. Your husband is a CPA, and yes. he was very happy with the cost-effective nature in which we did this. Oh my gosh, yes! Because <laughs> again, if if you're self-pay, you can make it. You just have to be, you know, diligent, and you have to shop around. But it can be very, very expensive, and he is very happy to invest in you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you've given him, me back to him. Good. Yeah, and that's, I mean, you know, yeah. that's why the, the tagline on, on our website is get healthy and get back to your life, because that's yeah. what I want yeah. you to do. And be able to do that without breaking the bank, which is, I think, is another important yes. thing just to do it. So, Debbie, you've been awesome. Aww. You're doing great. You've been a pleasure to work you with. You are a huge blessing to me, and I'm just so thankful. I'm going to get to here. I'm so thankful that you were you were around and that you help people, and thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you, everyone, for watching. And um, if anything changes with Debbie, we'll keep you guys posted, but I'm pretty sure you're going to be out there, loose in the world, having fun. So yes. enjoy. Get healthy! <laughs> All right. Thanks, Debbie.